It'd be funny. Let's build the simplest clock. Okay, so a clock is anything that has periodic behavior, so it's going to turn on and off. Here we go. Okay. So you, you sort of see how this works. The torch, the torch, torch starts out on. After four ticks, it powers through this repeater, which powers the block, turns the torch back off, and then or turns the torch off, and then that sort of gets through. So this is actually a five-tick clock. What that means is every five ticks, it will change states. It actually takes ten ticks to get uh, to get all the way through one cycle. Yeah, what you just built has too it's short of a delay. It's basically, I mean, it's basically like the burnout torch that we had before. If it's going too fast, then it's not going to work. This will also break. Well, you, you need a delay of at least three on the repeater for it to be stable. Anything shorter is going to burn out. Um, so this is a four tick clock, or also known as a four clock. Let's actually write that down. I'll write on this one five clock. Oh. You got it? <laughs> yeah, I made it to five clock as well. Um so No, this is a this is a four clock. So there's three there's three ticks on the repeater and one tick on the oh I see the sign. Okay. Um in fact maybe, yeah, we should put, we should go ahead and put down uh, clocks the 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 broken three clocks and two clocks. Just to just so that we we have it documented. Oh, does this one actually work? I think it should burn out. Maybe I'm wrong. I, I think it just burned out uh, last time. It's it, it's not really constant. Oh, okay, it seems like it's not burning out. Three clock. And this is a two clock. Burns uh, out. It doesn't really behave constantly. It's kind of. Uh, it's just the lag. Because all the all the redstone updates happen on the server, and then that has to get sent to you, so there's some delay. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, let me let me show you some things that will not actually. Hold on. Okay. Let me let me recenter this sign. Yeah, I mean, and you can add more um, more delay on these clocks too. So if you want a clock that uh, that turns on and off every two seconds, does a full cycle every two seconds, this is a ten clock. Yep. So those are those are basically the pretty standard types of clocks. Um, we can do we can do some crazy stuff though with this. Like what? Alright. Different types of clocks. Okay, this is let's let's see if let's see if uh, let's see if I can get this uh, if I've done enough that you can understand what's going on here. Okay? Here's this. Actually, there is something there is something that you'll need to know before. Okay, I'll I'll just explain. I'll just do this and I'll explain what's going on. All right. So we have we have a uh, some redstone here. If I place a torch on this block, uh, did you also do it? No. Okay. okay. <laughs> if I no, place... I, I actually type red at clear, but that doesn't uh, seem doesn't to work, work in, this, in this snapshot. <laughs> if I place a yeah. torch on this block. It's going to the torch is going to be on for one tick before it turns off because when you place it it starts on, but since the block is powered it'll turn off. So I it actually stays it. on for one tick. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, what happens when I place it here is we get the fastest type of clock possible. Well, the fastest type of purely redstone clock possible. Um, so basically, what happened is I turned this torch on for a tick. That powered this redstone dust which made this this repeater over here turn on. Uh, and then that powered this redstone, but since since it was only on for one tick, th this, this repeater turned back off at the same time that the other repeater turns on. So basically it just goes back and forth. Does, does that make sense? Yeah, it actually does. So okay. it's a really short signal that right. basically just fits. 
So yeah, so you can uh, you can remove this torch and all of the this stuff here. You can you'll you'll have to break the the um, the redstone here in order to to stop it. There's no other way to stop the, the signal. Um, if you if you do it if you just put a torch here, you'll notice that it stays on. And actually, let's let's do that. Uh, let's go ahead and and do that uh, over here, just so that we have it documented. Yep. Because we are trying to make a regression sweep. So if we put a torch here, actually, let me use a lever. Oops. Okay, so we've put the lever on. This is going to stay on because each of the repeaters are sort of feeding into each other. They're going to power each other. Yep, just making signs for it. <laughs> uh, feed, this is called a feedback loop. So how fast was this clock? This was a... Uh, every every two ticks, the signal will turn on. So if you like, yeah. if you like put a piston here... It's really annoying. <laughs> oh god. Um, here's here's another uh, here's another way you can do this sort of thing. That actually won't work because uh, redstone lamps have a delay on turning on and off. Or faster. How long? Yeah, I think <laughs> it's a uh, one like a one or two tick delay. Okay. Um, so here's That's good to know, though. <laughs> here's something else you can do to create a fast clock like that. And this is just sort of a trick that you'll learn along the way. This is called a rapid pulsar, um, and we're gonna. When I put blocks on top of these torches, it's gonna do the burnout thing, right? Yeah. Right, because we've we've done this before, so we'll see yeah. it start to burn out. But if I put blocks on all four, this will actually stay on forever. This or this will keep blinking forever. This but, is possibly the fastest that you could possibly well, do. Well, this is this is actually the same rate as the uh, as the just the two repeaters over there. Yeah, basically, only one of the torches is turning on and off at a time, <laughs> and then it's and then the torch burns out, and kind of the next one in sequence picks it up, uh, and then they kind of cause redstone updates to each other, which causes them to reset uh, without having to wait for that random tick. It's it's a little technical, but uh, it's a very useful thing. It's called a rapid pulsar. And the, the nice thing about this one, as opposed to the other repeater based design, is you put a lever over here, and you flick the lever on, and this thing turns off. And then immediately when you flick the lever off, it'll start going again. Okay, that's nice. Right? Do you, I mean, and you understand why that is, right? When you flick the lever on, it forces the power to be on, it'll just force all the torches to be off. No. Yeah. So, this is just, this is a really useful rapid rapid pulsar design. Yep. Um, oh, we might start getting into piston stuff now. Let's take a look back at all we've done. Oh, well, we have stuff. Um, stuff like pressure plates, how um, buttons, and how long are those pulses? How um, long does it take? Is yeah. there some way you can show that? Uh, there kind of is, but it's a little bit hard to see. There, so typically the way that I. Um, I don't need to do this. Typically, the way that I I look at that sort of thing is okay. Let's grab a button. I don't have one of my buttons for it. Okay. There's a button. Have the output of the button, and then I just put a bunch of repeaters in a row. This is uh, a lot of people will call this a um, what is it? A spectrometer? No, is that right? That's not right. Oscill oscilloscope, that's the one. Oh, that one, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oscilloscope. Yeah. So then when you push the button, this works This works a lot better in single player, but when you push the button, you get a pulse, and if you just press escape to freeze the game, you can count the number of repeaters that are on, and ah, that'll tell yes. you how long the pulse is. So you know by heart how long it is? Um, what? Uh, how, long, how long is the pulse? Oh, you this know? is... Uh, actually, I think they just changed it. I think it's like... 12 ticks or so. Yeah, Dinnerbone changed it recently. He increased it a little bit. Uh, because doors weren't staying a lot. <laughs> doors were shutting in his face too often. Yeah, with a... Uh, with a, It's a little bit harder with the... With the pressure plate because, you know, you're standing on it for a couple ticks. So... Uh, it stays for a few ticks after you get off of it. Tripwires are actually a little bit shorter. They And you can hear it. But, uh... Let's... 
Let's label this oscilloscope. Uh, I might have spelled it wrong, but... <laughs> yeah, that is useful for seeing pulse lengths, and uh, when you're dealing with instant wire, but that's kind of a more advanced topic. Just let's just try a... Uh, let's see, where's my stream? Here you go. Yeah, you see it's a very short pulse. That is pretty short. Yeah, and that's that includes a couple of ticks of you standing in it. It only takes a couple of ticks for it to turn off. So, all right, well, let's move on. What would be next? Maybe I can do some simple logic gates. So if you want, if you want to do some logic, um, this is saying like uh, this lever's on and this lever's on, or this lever's on or this lever. Okay. <laughs> Let me be. Let me. Let me be a little bit more clear about this. Okay. Say you want uh, this redstone lamp to turn on if either of the levers is on. This is called well, you're an. You're done or. then, right? What? You're done then, right? <laughs> a right. That's right. This is an, this is an OR gate. A B and then I'm going to label this one A or B. So this this redstone lamp is on if A or B is on. That's what that means. It's kind of the way that, that we talk about logic. Mm -hmm. And you probably know that, yeah. but you know, I'm kind of talking to the viewers as well. So, yeah, well, yes, this is not my, uh, let's just say, uh, logic in, for some reason, I find that logic and programming is different than this, but it actually isn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, when you get used to it, it it's all actually yeah. um, it's very, very similar. So, okay. <clears throat> so then... Okay, so if you have a, a torch here, okay, oops. torch here. This is we're gonna do what's called a nor gate. Nor is short for not or. It's like the opposite of or, basically. Yep, there you go. So this is A. This is B. And this is we call it A nor B, and it means. If A or B is on, then this one is off. And if that's not the case, then this one's on. So when I flick either of these levers on, A or B is going to be on, so that'll turn off. And otherwise, this is on. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, yeah, it does. Okay. Well, you can actually see it. If you turn either one on, it goes yeah. off. Right. But yeah, it's, it's very useful to, to learn about these names, because when you're talking with other people about gates, uh, it's useful. You know, we, we saw the not gate very early on. That's also called an inverter. Uh, that's just the single torch. Let's that see what was basically is. this. Uh, it was it was if you yeah if you took away one of the redstone lines here, it'd be like this would be like not B at this point. Yeah. But um, okay, so let's do and because th this is actually one of the more useful uh, one of the more useful circuits. So I'm gonna do it in sort of. Not a very compact form, just so that it's easy. Whoops, it's really easy to see what's going on. Um, so each of these is going to have a torch. Those are both going to feed into this one, and then we have an output. Okay, so this is A and B. This is something you want to do a lot, but it's uh, it's not always uh, it's not the easiest um, you know circuit. It, you know, not would be the, or or would be the easiest circuit to build. But uh, if I flick on the left one, it's not going to turn on. If I flick on just the right one, it's not going to turn on. But if both of them are on, then the output's on. Let's label this A. Label this B. A and B. Okay. Um, so, I mean, you kind of just have to look at the circuit to see what it's doing. This one is, um, let's see. This is not a this one oops not b and then this is this torch here is nor not a or not b <laughs> which is kind of confusing i mean that's 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 sort of what's going on log like that's what the logic circuits are this is a nor gate because mm -hmm. this block is going to be powered by either the left or the right side and then this torch takes the nor of those but just just look at it for a while, and you can see what it does. 
uh, if you're if you're viewing at home. But I think you get it, right, Grim? I make actually a sign for it. It's not, not a nor not, not a, B. nor B. Actually, parentheses would probably be helpful there, but <laughs> yeah. Paren not a paren close paren nor paren not b. We probably have to break it up in multiple lines. But yeah. yeah, so this is this is very useful. We can we can compress this a lot though. Um, and like one common way to do that is uh, you have something like um, oops. So you have something like this, this, and then uh, you can. So you'll notice that the redstone on top of these is, is getting powered because it strongly strongly powers the block, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have a torch here. So this this is actually a uh, a nor, or this is actually an and output. It's not going on. Now it is. This is just it's just a basically you can see it's the exact same configuration. It's the it's the same thing. So that won't turn on. Oh no, it will. Sorry. Because this redstone power weakly powers the block underneath it, which powers the uh, the lamp. So this is and gate also. Let's label this. And what do we have here? This is nor nor gate. Hmm. I think I forgot something. <laughs> Hmm? Redstone uh, running over a block and active, does that provide power to the block it runs over? It provides weak power to it, so it'll turn off any torches attached to that block. It'll light up any redstone lamps next to it, but it won't emit power from that block. Oh, you know what? Let's let's do some connectivity stuff that I forgot to do earlier. Um, namely, this. So here we go. Here's a lever. Here's another lever. Ah, right. Yeah. yeah. This block will block off the power that way. Mm -hmm. Where where normally you know they would be attached. Either powering either one would power all the redstone. But yeah, it does the same thing. Yeah, I need another block let's, for that. Let me see. Glass, let's just, right? Let's actually. Uh, oh yeah, glass will glass won't block it. Yeah, glass is kind of. Uh, it's called a transparent block. <laughs> you just pick block. Oh. It's, yeah. Okay, so yep, that's a transparent block. Glowstone is another example, although glowstone also has other properties. Really? What? Like what? Uh, that's glass. It's a little more complicated. I guess I can go into it. Sure. Um, let me grab some glowstone here. Okay. So here's an example. Okay. So you can put and um, slabs work the same way as this. So let me just top slabs. That that is. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me grab a top slab. Hold on. Let me. Uh, yeah, good luck placing that one. I got hey, it. Hey, wait. You can nowadays. Yeah. Oh. Okay. And then we'll put, put the redstone here. So, these transmit power up the block, but it doesn't go the other way. Okay. So, this is called a diode. Um, but that's not the same with a glass block? No, glass block doesn't work like that. You can't place any redstone on a glass block, in fact. Oh, of course, yes. So uh, so these are kind of special. Um, they, the glowstone also doesn't block the connectivity, so if you had... In fact, let's go ahead and put that there. Uh, yeah. Oops. Yep, so it, it can go right through the, the redstone block. Yeah. Um, um, uh, something um, else is, uh, so you can put, hold on, let me grab glass again. You can put um, redstone on top of, oops, 
redstone torches on top of glass glass blocks. Um, okay. But they won't power... Glass blocks can't get strongly powered or even weakly powered. So there, this, this tower is not going to... Uh, it is not going to carry a redstone signal. All right. Um, glowstone. Another another really neat thing you can do with glowstone is you can make towers like this. And this also works with slabs. Top ah, slabs. But it's instant. It's no delay, right? But it'll be instant, right. So, whereas you had to wait one tick per two blocks with the redstone torch. Uh, here, let me put a, uh, a piston up at the top. Um, I have to put it right here, actually, to get it powered. Yeah, the second you click the lever on, the piston will ex expand. Alright. Let's see, what else? Um, so we kind of did some logic gates here. Uh, can you do the same with uh, uh, top half slabs? Yeah, you can do the exact same thing, but it'll take a bit of time to actually try and place those. <laughs> um, I would say let's just move on. I can do it meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, so let me let me get into I guess monostable circuits. Monostable what? circuits is a really fancy name for. Just something that makes a short pulse. Um, so here, let's see. What do I want to do? Let's do a really simple design. So you. Uh, okay. Here we go. Okay, this um, is a this is a mono stable circuit. Let's. Uh, Let's hook this output up to a piston. All right, so lever. See how it only works when I turn the, the lever on. When I turn the lever off, it doesn't put out a pulse. But it just turns on this output line for a very short amount of time. Still there? Yep, OK. Yeah, just. All right, so okay. <laughs> this, is, this is maybe a little bit confusing. It is. Um, let me explain what's going on. So the, the signal comes in and it powers this block weakly. Yeah. Um, and then the signal sort of splits up into two paths. In the right path, it, it the, the torch turns off after one tick. Which and, makes this wire turn off and this right. torch turn so the, on. Since, since the repeater isn't on to start out with, the wire will turn off, so the torch turns on. Then, after four ticks, the left path turns on because the repeater received that signal. That'll turn this wire back on and that turns the torch off. So the piston is on for two ticks? Um, it's e well, actually, it should be three ticks, because uh, because the, the wire turns off after one tick and then turns back on after four. Uh, but it, it actually does. You're right that the piston turns on for two ticks, and that's just oh, yeah. because. Oh, no, yeah, never mind. Yeah, I, I'm still stuck in my head that with the one game tick, for uh, two game ticks versus one redstone tick. Yeah. Uh, so you could shorten the. Uh, you could actually make a short pulse with this. Yeah. So this, but like I said, this this actually you'd think it would should do it for three redstone ticks. Uh, yeah. But it actually four. it actually does it for two, and this is just like a quirk with the way redstone torches work, and I'm not even gonna try and explain it because I honestly don't really understand why it works that way myself. But when you're t when you're trying to turn a torch on and off very quickly, things don't quite work out like you'd expect necessarily um, but yeah if you drop this down to th okay so let's 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 look at this piston so if I flick the lever on it pushes the block and pulls it again mm -hmm. I'm gonna drop this repeater down to three ticks and yep. now when I flick the lever on the piston pushes the block but it doesn't retract it bug <laughs> this is a bug but it's been known about for a long long time and I mean you guys have basically said you're not gonna fix it <laughs> So, basically, this is just a quirk with, with, with sticky pistons. 
when they receive one tick of power and then it turns right back off after that one tick, it doesn't pull the block. But that seems like a feature. Uh, uh, but, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. but then you'll notice if I do it again for one tick, it'll pull it. So this sort of switches back and forth. Anyway, um, okay, sand isn't going to work quite the same. I mean, it'll, it'll just fall. So, But yeah, okay. So so this is a monostable circuit. I actually use this all the time in order to manipulate pistons like this. Because this, this <laughs> circuit right here will output a one tick pulse. Um, it's very useful to be able to do that. Monostable circuit. So for, uh, okay, because the red zone uh, turns off after one pulse, this one has to be at least on two or three. This actually. is, yeah, two this the is on three. If, so let's put it on two. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Yeah, because it's, yeah. I, uh, uh, it's no, just, why actually nothing? There's because just a, there's just a bug cannot, Yeah. Because the storage cannot uh, actually turn off. The for, redstone actually eight. turns, the redstone here actually turns off for one tick. You can mm -hmm. see that. Uh, you can't see it from here. Let me s so look at so my viewers look at that redstone wire. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, sorry, it was at three. Look at the, so look at that redstone wire. So you see it turn off for one tick, but one tick isn't long enough for the torch here to come on. So that's why you need to just increase it by one. And it's just the way that redstone works. Um, so here's I'll show you my favorite design for a monostable circuit just because it's kind of compact and looks nice. So three ticks on this repeater, and then block, block, redstone, redstone, and torch. So this is this is a one tick monostable circuit right here. Do you have a button in your inventory? I'll just grab one. I have in a second. I got it. OK, there's a button here. So so that's going to cause the, the one tick pulse. Just a button anywhere on this block. And it's basically the exact same thing. It's doing the exact same redstone stuff. It's just a just a slightly different layout. I I really remember the sticky pistol not doing that even with a short pulse. <laughs> it, it only works with a very very short like a one tick pulse. So yeah. But uh, is that a feature that you now actually abuse? Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, <laughs> I'll show you why you'd want to do this. Actually, let me just turn this to the side, and it's very easy to show you. Uh, in fact, I'll just put a, let's see, let's put a torch down, no, I was wrong, it was right here. <laughs> put a torch down here and some redstone right here. This redstone is off. I push a button, this redstone on the output is on, right? Okay. I push it again, it turns off. So this basically makes the button act kind of like a lever. It's an extremely long lever. <laughs> well, sure, but you can also do like a lever. You have to manually click, but you can do yeah. this with other redstone. So this is called this is called a T flip flop. It's just the circuitry name for it. It it toggles back and forth every time you put redstone into the circuit. Uh, the output toggles. Let me actually one wide monostable plus T flip flop. Names start to get a little bit <laughs> confusing when you when you. Well, look the flip flop part is logical, but let's see. Yeah. But it only t flip flops when the uh, repeater is on three. Yeah. If you put it on four, it'll just it'll basically this acts like a repeater right here, right? Because when it receives yeah. power, it turns on the output, but then yeah. So if you have it on a different delay, then it's not going to work. But on three. It acts like that teeth look